So Overlook has even has a bar over here. You can enter. We'll do that later on. The Holy Spirits bar is over there, but uh, we don't need to check that out just yet. But over here, you can see, yeah, people have died. This guy's name was actually apparently dead. His name was dead. So rest in peace, dead. But uh, let's head into Overlook itself with this lovely uh, sign. Huh? Used to be a nice little town until Hyperion took over. Now everybody there has got the skull shivers thanks to Jack's mining Welcome operations. To We're Poor so pleased are too to sick see. to leave their homes. You'll want to set up the beacon over there. Once the moon base processes <laughs> our request, you should have a fast travel station. There we go. So we can put that over here right next to the meat grinder for some reason. So let's put that down because this fight can get a bit hectic. Deploy the beacon. It's transmitting the supply request now. We've just got to wait a few minutes and... Angel, that's enough. You can stop pretending to help the bad guys now. Angel? You can... We don't have long until Jack realizes I'm not helping you anymore. Defend that beacon. I will, Angel. Now, if you can't even handle these loaders, you're really gonna disappoint me. Just gonna slightly tap the fan the hammer. Didn't want to hit those things, but apparently I did. There we go. Just taking out those arms of the loaders falling in. But of course, now they're starting to spawn behind us as well. So I'm just going to throw some grenades over here. Focus on the left side first, because they have... They're with fewer guys, but at least they won't be bothering me after this then. And more and more will spawn, so this is not going to get easier. There we go. Uncalibrated fast travel station request received. Estimated processing time three to six weeks. Three to six weeks. No, 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 no. Uh, move some data around. See if I can bump you up in the queue. Angel, what the hell are you doing? I think there's a lot of exploders over here. I'm just gonna get my uh. You just set off my trap card. Your death approaches. Because we need to protect that thing, and it actually has a hell bar. Just gonna go up here, cause. Because it's getting shot at. Oh crap. That's not good. Fire is useless against these guys, but uh, sadly that's all I have at the moment. So if it's down, I need to ooh gold. Just gonna go invisible and repair it because it's down. Okay, what's this guy doing? Uh, I think there's a, yeah, there's an ammo station right here, so I'm actually gonna just purchase some uh, pistol ammo, there we go. Because this is where things start to get a bit more annoying, well, even more annoying. And there we go, there's a real reason why there's a grinder in the center of this town. I think I can actually use that as a way to execute people. Goodbye, constructor. That. Stay off my beacon, goddammit. I'm just gonna run around the bed, because the ammo is gonna come in handy. So, burst when zoomed in, not burst when not zoomed in. Oxygen supply. I expect the engineers will launch your fast travel station very soon. God damn it, Angel. What are you doing? Those are the bad guys. I'm sending everything I have at you. Here we go. Final round. 
Just gonna take out the exploders here. But as you might have noticed, they're starting to get lower in level. Aside from this guy, of course. I'm just gonna slag him real quickly. There we go. And sadly, going invisible doesn't really help. It's almost here. Just protect the beacon for another few seconds. And I think that's it. Because the bar disappeared. The fast travel has landed. Give me a second while I calibrate it to Sanctuary's new position. So there we go. Now we have a fast travel station. Go quickly. Use the fast travel station and get back to Sanctuary. And that's what I'll do. Thank you, Angel. Joel, you and I are going to have a serious talk. Back at Sanctuary at last. So let's have a look around and talk to Roland and Lilith first. Because uh, this thing is up in the air right now. Which you might not notice at the start, but it actually is. I'm just going to check out if there's anything fancy in here. Nothing good in the weapons uh, shop, so let's just head in. I'm just going to quickly check these things again, because, um, I mean, every place that might have Iridium is a, a friendly place to me, right? But uh, let's have a little chat with our the friends. The city may be safe right now, but what happens if Hyperion launches another barrage? We've got no shield. Ah, good point. Let me get on the Echo. Listen up, Hyperion. If you've got any bright ideas to blast Sanctuary out of the sky, just remember, I can phase the city anywhere I want at the drop of a hat. But if you want to waste another few billion dollars launching mortars at us, be my guest. Well done. Was, uh... Was any of that true? What? Hell no. It's a miracle I didn't phase us into a mountain. I love Lilith. I love Lilith. Let's have a little chat with Roland instead, though. Oh, good. You're not dead. That's his way of saying, wow, you're a badass, I'm glad you're okay. Great. You've linked back up with Sanctuary, but you and the other members of the Resistance still have no plan, no leverage, and no obvious way of stopping Handsome Jack. Hey, it's all uphill from here, right? Here we go, and we get our final storage deck upgrade. I can see my house from here trophy as well, and now we can equip four guns at the same time. Right. Sorry. We'd all be dead if it weren't for you. But we need a plan. Jack's getting closer and closer to digging up the warrior, and we still don't know where he's got the vault key stashed. I can help you with that. You? Damn it, we told you never to contact us again. Will you please just hear me out? Sure, let's listen to the crazy computer that just tried to kill us. Hey, remember that time she told us the vault was full of loot? It's with me. I'm charging the vault key. Continue. The key naturally charges itself once every 200 years. Jack is patient, but he's not that patient. He's been using my power to forcibly charge the key with Iridium. If you find me, you find the Vault Key. The Vault Key is housed in my AI control core atop Thousand Cuts. It's protected by three impassable security hurdles. The first is a competitor deterrence field that will obliterate any non-Hyperion entity passing through it. Competitor deterrence field? What, like a death wall? It is a field of pure thermosonic energy, programmed to atomize any unauthorized personnel. So yeah, a death wall. Beyond that lies the second hurdle, a defense bunker outfitted with the most high-tech weaponry Hyperion can afford. That doesn't sound good. Past the bunker, you'll have to get through the final hurdle, a door that will only open for Handsome Jack. Well, that sounds even worse. This will be your only opportunity to steal the Vault Key and stop Jack from controlling the Warrior. I'm out of time. Do what you will, but promise me this. No matter what happens, do not allow Lilith into my chambers. What the hell's that supposed to mean? If she was luring us into a trap, she would have made it sound a little bit possible. If we're taking that bitch down, I'm coming! Trap or not! So, if anyone's gonna shut her down, it has to be you, soldier. Head to the Hyperion Preserve. I think I know how to get past the first hurdle. So, the death wall is our first hurdle, but we got a warning from Angel to not let Lilith inside of her chambers. Which is interesting. An interesting warning, don't you think? 
And yeah, this this is this is nice, isn't it? This is how you see that we're uh, high up in the sky. There's just a hole in the back here from where we were attacked. But uh, let's, as you can see, there's a whole bunch of exclamation marks now. Because a whole lot of side quests have opened up. So the next few episodes will be busy doing those. But let's talk to Patricia Tanis first. If you could stand still for a moment, I require something of you. So there's two of her, but, uh, well, two quests at her, uh, well, person. I'm just gonna go with the first one first. So, hidden journals. In a fit of extreme paranoia, I hid my notes on the opening of the vault and promptly forgot their locations. While I grind my teeth to dust and frustration, you will retrieve these journals for me. Okay, so that's one. You will help me and I will pay you. It is as simple as that. And then doctor's orders. Some people, who are not me, might consider slag experimentation immoral. Some people would not be willing to pay you a great deal of money for bringing me experiment results from the Hyperion Preserve. Some people are stupid. And there we go, a very roundabout way of saying that we need to get those experiment notes for her when we're getting when we're getting to the uh, wildlife preservation resort resort reserve reserve um there's a whole bunch of other people here though so let's start with claptrap because claptrap has another quest for us as well yeah yeah dude gotta kill stuff another hole another hole in sanctuary guys it's breaking apart hello claptrap a quest for thee claptrap's birthday bash it's my birthday I first rolled off the assembly line seven years ago. Do me a favor and hand out these invites for my stellar birthday bash, will you? And quickly, we're gonna start any minute. So there we go, that's the quest. We need to grab the invitations and then hand them around to Marcus, Moxie and Scooter. So we're gonna just do a loop of Sanctuary, starting with Scooter down here. And he has a quest for us as well. We're just gonna give him the invitation. I ain't gonna. Because nobody likes Claptrap, that's the joke. Don't know why we have a timer of 2 minutes and 10 seconds that is currently paused. But let's get into Moxie's uh, bar, bar, bar. Let's get into Moxie's bar before anybody quotes me wrong there. Hello, Moxie. There you go. Oh, sorry, I can't make it. Give Claptrap my love. Though. I think I might. My purely platonic love. Don't want him getting any ideas. Yeah, you wouldn't, Jeff would you? So. Next up, let's get the last invitation to Marcus downstairs while we're at it. Hello, Marcus. Here you go, buddy. <laughs> no. Okay, Come no. Back, buddy. It's time to start the party. I'm just going to shop at him really quickly, Claptrap. Sorry about that. But uh, nobody's going to come to your party, sadly, which is sad. So the reason we're only giving um, invitations to those people is, I think... Uh, he doesn't like Zad, and the other people might not be here in some cases. And that quest just needs to work at all times, so... That's that, so let's return to the party and let's... I've uh... some pizza and some sparkling wigglers. Just hit that boombox and we'll get this party started. Hit the boombox. Like, literally hit it? No. Turn it on. Alright, the guests should be arriving any minute. And now... All that this quest is, is standing here for two minutes. So, I'm sorry about this, but I'm, I mean, you're not missing anything if I just skip forward. So, see you guys in a minute. So, after about a minute, uh, well, the party pauses and we need to eat pizza. So, there we go. Let's just eat all that. Thank you. Pizza's kind of cold. Sorry about that. You're a robot. Why do you even have pizza? You're not eating it. And you stopped dancing. Minion, can you blow into this thing? Maybe liven the party up a bit? Yeah, let, let's let's blow, let's blow, blow into, par into party ah! favor. There we go. Yay! Woohoo! Woohoo! I'm really glad to be here, Claptrap. <laughs> you enjoying the party? Yeah, yeah, we are. I'm really sorry about for this, about this. Hello? There's nobody here at your party. The party sorry. you probably worked very hard on. Well, uh... I think that about wraps it up. Thanks for um, thanks for coming to my party, Minion. It uh, it 
Looks like I bought way too much pizza. So, uh, take some home if you want. And there we go. We can enjoy the party. We enjoyed the party, so to speak. And we can end this level 16 quest. That was the best party I've ever thrown. So either the Deadshot Rifle or the uh, Despair Anarchist. I'm going to go for the rifle. Thank you, Claptrap. I'm going to actually check out what's the fourth gun that I can equip now. Let's just do the bazooka. There we go. Big, big and loud. Let's check out Scooter side quest next because we're uh, going around Sanctuary just seeing what all the side quests are about. Hello, buddy. Ooh, hey, three man, side quests. I, uh, I need some. The Overlooked Medicine Man. Overlook needs a hero. Are you up for the job? Hey, man, I think Roland wanted you to go check out the town of Overlook. See if you can help the people there or whatever. Them folks been cooped up in their houses ever since they got the shivers. Dollars to donuts, they could use your help. There we go, that's one quest. Got some work for you. Then the cold shoulder. Hey, you met my girl, Lenny. She perfect man, blonde, a great body, distantly related to me, great body, but then Fred Draft brainwashed her. You gotta snap her out of that cannibalism crap. I don't wanna get bit. Bring Lenny her favorite flowers and food, and I'm sure she'll come around and stop biting. So collect flowers for oh, Lainey and find girly and magazines. Find any porno mags, I'm just saying if you come across them in a natural accent, just snag those for me too, okay? Scooter's a peculiar fellow, isn't he? Shorty must die! That crock blocker deface one of my catch rides and nobody does that except ladies I wanna bang and sometimes me when I'm drunk. He's hiding in stalker territory. Go get it! And there we go, we need to kill Shorty. So that's three more side quests. We're gonna do a lot of these in a sequence uh, at the, the same time, I mean. Uh, next up, I think, is Moxie still has a quest for us, or it might be Hammerlock instead. We'll see. It's Hammerlock, it's Hammerlock, as usual, since we're going to the Wildlife Preserve, probably. Hello. Things need to be shot, and by Jove, you're the one to shoot them. Great, perfectly peaceful, the Chrysalisk. Those crystallists are right bastards, aren't they? The scientific term. If you could find out just what got up the crystallists collective bomb and made them so cross, I'd be willing to pay you a pretty penny. Metaphorically, I'll be paying you a great deal more than a penny. It's just a saying I'm fond of. Off to the Caustic Caverns with you. Off to the Caustic Caverns. So we haven't been there yet, which is cool. So the, uh, the side quest is urging us into new territory. Because uh, a lot of the... You have too many bullets, but not enough money. Okay, have a look. Stop interrupting me. Because a lot of the areas in the game are actually optional, which is cool for us since we're doing all the side quests. Most of those will be explored through the side quests. But Slap Happy. You're wondering why I don't go out into the field. The answer is old Slappy, a thresher that nearly killed me. Science demands I forgive it. Vengeance demands I kill it. Today, my friend, you will be my vengeance. Take there we go. Hand. And we can pick up the arm. Old Slappy removed several of my limbs the last time we met. One hopes the scent of my extremities will bring him out of hiding, make him eager to finish the job, as it were. Plant my hand outside Slappy's lair in the highlands. But that was a robotic arm. Shouldn't I have a flashy arm if he, if he needs the scent? Uh, uh, I mean, never mind. So that's two more quests from Hammerlock. Then we have the notice board over here, which also contains a few quests. The Clan War, starting the war. Hey cutie, got a job for you. Why don't you stop by my place out in the dust? So the first one is from Ellie in the dust. And then the second one is the good, the bad and the Mordecai. A few years back, I won two prizes in Moxie's Underdome. A chest full of loot and Moxie herself. I lost the second prize to Jack, and the first to a thief named Carson. <sighs> I don't care if I never see those guns again, but if you want them, just find Carson in the dust. There we go, a chest full of loot, that sounds awesome. Let's take a look at Earl's inventory. To the black market. We no, have 10 no. iridium, which is not enough, although it is enough for the pistol. I use a lot of pistols. Good, yeah, let's do that. There we go. More ammo for me. Then we have another really, really cool side quest in Sanctuary itself. So somebody has murdered Justin McReady or McReady. Hey, if you're not doing nothing, could you use some help with this? Won't get fooled again. Hey, feel like solving a murder? I'm the marshal around these parts. Uh, one of these gutter quadruplets pulled the trigger on that boy over there. 
Consider yourself deputized. A ask around to Moxie and Zans, figure out which one of these identical scum stains pulled the trigger. Otherwise, I'll just have to hang them all and I don't got that kind of time. So this is a cool little uh, side quest. So you can shoot any one of these four identical dudes. Uh, so you can decide right now or you can start gathering some clues around the town. Uh, we can question Marshal Friedman here as well. So let's do that first. Uh, I heard a gunshot a couple of hours back. Naturally, I ignored it until someone came and got me. Uh, well, I found this boy bleeding onto the concrete, a uh, single bullet in his throat. And, and I saw one of these gutter boys running away. And that's all I know right now, more's the pity. Okay, so single gunshot and he was running around. Seems like most of these... Well, this guy is carrying a bazooka, so that wouldn't be a single gunshot, right? So we can... Yeah, we can exclude that guy because he's he's not... He wouldn't be able to actually shoot a gun. Get out of my so, face. let's get uh, Moxie. Money. Hello, Moxie. Do you have any clues for me? A gutter brother? Oh yeah, one of them barged in here a couple hours ago, demanding safe haven. I told him I couldn't make any promises and he got bitchy. I had to pull out Ruby and put a few rounds in him. His shield ate the first two, but boy did he feel the last one. Nobody threatens me in my joint. There we go, he has a shield. So this is a, a really cool puzzle I feel like. It's just a, a clues based puzzle. So he has a shield and he uses a gun with bullets. So next up is Dr. Zed himself, so he might have a bit more information helping us out. Hello, Zed. Sure, I pulled the round out of one of them gutter boys. I healed him up as good as new, but the little skunk overpaid me. Six thousand, five thousand bucks. You don't need to confiscate that or anything, do you? So I healed him good as new, but of course this is Dr. Zed, so that means that he probably got hurt a bit still even after he went to Dr. Zed. So, although it might be that Zed is not lying, of course, um, and he paid him. So he paid him, must be that he was happy with his, uh, with his uh, treatment. So, it's not the rocket launcher guy because he needs a bullet. He, did, he couldn't, do, couldn't have done that with his current weapon. It's not this guy because he doesn't have a shield, as you can see visually and because of the bar. And then it's probably not this guy because this guy doesn't have full health. So it would have been the guy that went to Dr. Z who healed him fully. So it should have been Barlow. Hello, Barlow. I accuse. All right, if you say so. And there we go. Yeah, I did it. I ain't sorry. What? And there we go. So if you choose the wrong guy, Good the... Good job, deputy. Barlow thought he could snipe an innocent man and get away with it. But that was a long shot. And there we go, another uh, CSI Miami uh, reference, because this quest is won't get fooled again. Like the song at the beginning of CSI Miami. So let's, uh, so if you don't choose the correct one, the one that actually committed the murder just screams, Haha, you fool, and just runs away for some reason, immediately after you accuse the wrong guy. But uh, let's talk to the marshal again. And we solved the murder of Justin McReady. Thanks. And we get the Leather Law, which is incredible, because it has 100% extra melee damage. The da, da Or, you know, the law. Fires as fast as you can pull the trigger. Pretty high damage, but of course the melee damage is what we're here for. So let's equip that bad boy instead of the bazooka then, I suppose. Yeah, I'm just gonna go for it instead of the bazooka. Because it's our first 100% uh, melee damage gun. So if I want to go melee crazy, I'm gonna able to do just this oh yeah i'm a badass so next up last but not least is marcus who has one or more quests for us as well i don't know just yeah it's just one quest safe and sound for you. jack blasted my personal safe out of my own store my most precious treasure could be in the hands of some freeloading bandits by now head back to that city size hole in the ground and get my safe back so this is also an optional area. The area where Sanctuary was is actually now a new level because it's, uh, well, a giant hole in the ground. So there's a few ways we can go. I'm just gonna check the map because now we rounded up all the side quests. I'm just gonna take a look. I think we should probably go to the dust first since we can start the clan war over there, which is a string of quests. We need to uh, 
do with two clans over there. I'm not going to spoil too much yet, but the dust it is. Thanks for coming out to see me. Got a fun little project for you. There we go. So, How hello, you Ellie. Feel about gang wars. The Hodunks and the Zephyrs have been having a half-ass feud for years, and I've been thinking the world might be a teensy weensy bit better if all of them were dead. Or at least one of them. Grab those explosives and the clan emblems. The emblems are back in the junkyard. There we Here's go. Here's my plan. You go to Hodunk territory, do that thing you do, by which I mean shoot lots of people and look damn good doing it, and leave the Zephyr emblem as a calling card. Then you head to Zephyr territory in the Highlands and do the same thing with the Hodunk emblem. Sound good? That sounds amazing, Ellie. Sounds like a really, really big plan, but why do you want those two clans to fight? There's more to that story, but uh, let's uh, set that as our main quest. So, there we go, quest set, and then let's get the dynamite, which is inside, of course. Of course it's inside, I'm always going the wrong way, aren't I? Always going the wrong way. So let's grab those two sticks of dynamite, or uh, one uh, <laughs> boom and such, yeah. Explosives alone won't do it. We'll need each clan's family emblem. Check my junk yard. I'm pretty sure I got some old emblems lying around somewhere. That was an innuendo. Check my junk yard. So, we need a, a Hodunk emblem and a Zaffert emblem. So, the two clans that Ali is actually talking about. There's actually a... Is that a, a car? That is a car. So, that is the Hodunk emblem. Rednecks love cheap beer trucks and naked women. Hodunks chose that as their emblem because they love skinny chicks. And they love skinny chicks because they's pussies. There we go. And then a Zaffert emblem. A shamrock original, isn't it? Zaffert's chose a clover as their emblem for good luck. Which be pretty damn ironic once we're done with them. There we now go. Now that you got all the stuff, head out to the Hodunk Speedway. Man, those Hodunks are going to be so pissed. They'll regret not killing me when I was a baby even more. There we go. They'll regret not killing me as a baby even more. So, uh, Ellie's... Well, motives are gonna... Are coming up. Because uh, she clearly has some trauma regarding the... Uh, the clans right here in the dust. So let's head to the Hodunk Speedway, which is an area of this map that we haven't been to yet. Right over here, it's not that far. Next time on Borderlands 2, we turn some hillbillies against some Irish.